is Zama. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a video, a sewing video, how to make a super easy drawstring bag. And the reason why I did it personally is because every time I get out of work um, and if I go to the gym, I usually put my all the clothing that I was wearing from work in here and obviously I wear my workout clothes and sometimes I wear, most of the time I wear jewelry so I just put it in this little pocket um, and I put like my gold ring, my watch, my earrings and I just put it in here but sometimes I worry that I'll lose them so I kind of want a small little bag to put in my jewelry so this is how it looks and this is what I would typically put in here, my watch, some earrings, and I have my ring as well. So I just put it in there, zip it up, and then after that, I'll just put it in here. And I'll feel more secure because I don't want to lose any of my jewelry and just zip it up and it's more secure, I just feel more comfortable putting it in a little bag and then on my little gym bag. So that's what I use it for. You can definitely use this type of little bag for many things. You can put like cosmetics in there, you can put your tampons, your pads, anything you really want. You can make it small, you can make it big, you can even make it for shoes, like to put in your shoes when you're traveling. So it is a really nice convenient bag that you can use and make for a bunch of things. So if you guys want to see how I did it step by step, make sure to keep on watching. So first we're going to start with our piece of fabric. This is 100% cotton and mine is already cut so it's going to look something like this if you want it kind of squared. So this is the visible side that's going to be shown on the outside so make sure to put that upwards. You're going to fold it. So this is already folded and the folding is right here and you're just going to do a line straight across and we're going to stop about an inch and a half. So a line straight across also on this side and stopping the same length. So about an inch and a half because remember that this top portion are going to be our little tunnels. So this is what it looks like once I've sewn the sides. And as you can see here, the stitching is right here, right along. And I stopped right here. And the next step is to cut a little bit just like so on an angle. Just like that so we can press the sides. And this side is already pressed on that side. So just so I kind of show you guys, you're going to do the following. You're going to grab your iron and you're going to press it like this, press that, and then once obviously this is pressed, you're going to press the other side as well. So make sure to press each side, so it's going to look like that. I'm going to press this side, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, so once both sides are pressed along the sides, this side and that side, we're going to work on the top and these are going to be our tunnels. So we are going to fold it once and fold it another time, just like so. And this is going to be our tunnel. So then the next step is obviously to flat iron this and press it. And this is going to be our tunnel, okay? And make sure that this little flap is underneath. So just to show you kind of how I did it, it's going to look like that. Okay. So this is how it is once I've pressed both sides. And the next step is to sew. And just like this, you're going to be sewing. You're going to sew a line straight across right here. And do not double sew both sides at the same time. So you are going to be sewing just like this so it kind of makes sense. A line straight across all the entire little bag, okay? So once you've sewn that, you can obviously tell that you've made your little tunnel from the top. 
and then we can put our thread or whatever we want our little strings so this is how it looks once the top is sewn now I'm going to turn it inside out just like that and your tunnel is already made so it looks like that this is the top And now the next step is to put our, I'm going to put some ribbon for my little string on the top. So this is my string I bought at Michael's and it's a nice blue color to match the fabric. And I put a safety pin just like that. And I'm going to put it on one side. looks once I've done both ribbons on each side and this allows you to do this and it is ready to go so this was how the little bag turned out and I actually thought about when I was making this one about making one for my luggage so I can put my shoes in most of the time and I'm gonna be traveling in about three weeks and when I was making this one I'm like you know what I can make a bag for my shoes so I store them in and then put my um, put them in my luggage because most of the time I just put them in a plastic grocery bag and I mean it's a functional way of doing it but I think it'd look cuter if I do something like this and just put it in my luggage so you guys can definitely use this little bag for different purposes if you guys happen to make this bag make sure to comment down below or hashtag thema b425 on your facebook instagram so i can see your creations and make sure to also give this video a big thumbs up if you happen to like it and subscribe down below and hit that notification bell just so you guys know when i upload new videos and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.